like a six hour flight, which is the longest flight I've ever done, honestly. And then we're going all the way across the pond to London, which is gonna be another seven hours, which honestly, I'd much rather have this than 12 hours straight. first leg of the flight is complete. We have arrived in Boston, which is crazy because one, I'm gonna be back here in exactly one month with all of my Pine Park homies. We are launching Pine Park in Boston, bro. Yeah, that's right, you heard it. Our first time on the East Coast, really my first time doing business on the East Coast at all. So 420, one month from now, it's gonna be a Saturday, bro. That means you have plenty of time to call in, make excuses, get someone to cover your shift, find a way to get to Boston because I know New York is really, really close and Philadelphia is close and Joyce is close. So listen, bro, if you want to show a little bit of love, it's going to be extra cool because me and Goblin are going to be bud pending. So mark your motherfucking calendars. I got to find out right now where my next one is. I have three hours of a layover and then I have a red eye. Then we land in London at like 6 a.m. So first time over the pond, bro. I'm so excited. That flight was fucking awesome. Um, I'm so glad that I get like multiple first class flights in a way. Shout out Super Dope, bro. I mean, look at that right there, bro. We're here. We're here. I feel like I gotta start talking like this now. Get the fuck out of here. That's like New York, right? Oh, we just missed it, man. Check the passport. We got the, the clam chowder. Listen, man, if I'm in New England, I gotta get New England stuff right here for a few hours. I'm probably gonna edit a video. Probably gonna get a little bit of work done, some emails. I have a phone call. It's like 1.30 on the West Coast right now, which the East Coast and West Coast discrepancy is so weird. But when I land in London, it's gonna be 6 a.m. So like, I gotta be ready for the day, bro. I gotta like, get all my shit done ready right now. I gotta sleep on that flight so I can be energized. I'm not trying to be jet lagged. I'm not trying to lose any time. I'm only in London for like five or six days and I might wanna see another country in the meantime while I'm there, so um, we'll see, man. Yeah, it's 420 right now. I have no smoke on me because we're going across the pond and I'll be damned if I get caught with anything, bro. I'm super scared of like, just getting caught by the feds, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like freedom is your number one, like, I got the time, I got my freedom, like that's all I really want and need, you know? The second you start to sacrifice that, just to get a little high, I don't think it's worth it. But, but, I did understand that I had a connecting flight, right? If I was going straight to England, I couldn't do this. But, I'm stopping here in Boston, and I bought these motherfucking cozy cubes, bro. If you guys know about the cozy cubes, these are probably some of the most fire rosin edibles in the game. Um, 300 milligrams, so. I'm gonna make sure I sleep on this motherfucking flight, bro. I'm not gonna risk anything. I'm taking this, getting super zooted on. Bro, can you talk about the bed? Might ruin like international travel for me because there's no shot I'm flying to anywhere now without that bed, bro. Like, I kinda just woke, oh my God, these are strong. I kinda just woke up and I'm like, whoa, I'm in Boston. And I hope I'm gonna eat some of these and I'm just gonna wake up and be in London. It'll be a vibe. For this too, just a little cross-faded American landing in London. We're like, where's the queen? Give me fish and chips. Oh my god, the queen's dead. Where's the king? What the hell, dude? They hooked it up with the champagne. We got the closing door. I got a fucking... I got a seatbelt, bro. Like an actual... Got to hook it in. Okay. The only thing crazier than that is that I almost missed this flight. I have no idea how I was sitting there editing, enjoying my drink. I look at my phone and the flight closes the doors in three minutes and I ran and I made it. We got the edit, we got the nuts, we got the vodka bevy. Um, having a good time right now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> I'm so cooked. They're starting to hit. They're definitely starting to hit. I know, I know. Look at this, bro. This is ridiculous. I feel like a fucking king chilling in first class across the pond. Shout out to Super Dope for fucking real. I'll take a chug for that, brothers. I think my new goal that I just unlocked inside my mental is to be able to do this for other people. Like the fact that I'm getting put on right now and I texted the homie, I was like, yo, this is so sick. And he said, Something that's gonna stick in my memory for a while. He said, we gotta make some memories, G. And that's all we have, right? We just have memories. Fuck the money, fuck the whatever. If I can do that for others, then why wouldn't I? So that's the goal. Next five, 10 years, I'm putting you guys on. There's probably someone watching right now that's like, Eric, I want you to put me on a first class flight to London. 
in like five years from now, I bet you at least one of you, we're gonna be flying you out. I love you. Ooh, I haven't seen this yet. Let's go. Ice cream action. Nice little second movie time. It's breakfast time, baby. We're like an hour outside of London. Just woke up. I don't know if I'm as refreshed as I was thinking I was gonna be, but I think I'm ready to take on a new country, baby. Let's go. Damn, okay, London. We are officially touch motherfucking down, and I just realized um, I accidentally took some fucking mushrooms with me, so I'm gonna take some right now and then throw the rest away, and I think we should be okay. Let's hope. Ooh. Oh shit, bro, we're fucking tuned in. I have no idea if I just got scammed. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but um, I probably could have just used my card and shit. I don't know. I looked up the exchange rate for 500 US dollars. I should have gotten like 390. I don't know. I probably just lost like 80 bucks. <laughs> Good start. Check that sticker. That's how you know it's mine, baby. You ready? Yeah. The border force. We got customs over there. I think you just leave through here. Uh, some footy. Classic. Oh, shit. All right. Well. We made it to the outside, shit. That's uh, another country that I was tripping about and I threw away shit that I didn't need to. I didn't get checked once. I could have kept the mushrooms. I definitely could have, you know, snuck over a pen or two, maybe even a jar of wax, but I'm kind of good off all that, you know? I say it once and I say it again, all these travel videos, it ain't worth your freedom, bro. And especially because there's gonna be weed here already, like, I'm good. But, um, dude, where the fuck am I? I don't know where the taxis are. They don't, I'm not sure if they have Ubers here. I think they have. They have taxis. We have found the Uber section, bro. It took me a little bit longer than I'm admitting. That's my guy right there. Look at this. It's called the mini cab area, bro. It's not called the Uber area or the Lyft area. This is the only place, this is the only airport I've ever been to that doesn't label it because I guess everyone uses cabs here. But the cab driver came up to me and he was like, yeah, it's gonna be 80 pounds. And I was like, bro, let me check Uber. It's 35 on Uber, all right, crazy. To meet a good, good person who I've been meaning to meet for like, Oh! Hello. What's up, man? What the yes, fuck is sir. good? That's awesome. Welcome, welcome. What's Come up, in. man? Thank you, sir. Got a little pre-roll in here. Got some royalty here. Feel Sweet. Up. Thank I'm you, gonna sir. Quick, yeah, for I'll sure. Like Hell yeah, sounds good, man. Thank Cheers. you so much. Now that's British. If I have ever seen it. Shout out to KSI, man. Shout out to Drew and Sharon. Um, just left me here alone for a little bit. He said he just woke up because it is early, bro. I landed 6 a.m. Like I said, it's probably like a little after six, maybe close to seven right now. Oh, he hooked it up, bro. I guess I'm at the spot right now. He had a little joint roll for me. What a good man. First official spark up in London, bro, in a whole other country in the UK. Definitely trying to see those people with the uh, with the, the little hats and you can't fuck with them. Trying to make some jokes, see what's good. Maybe hand him a joint, get arrested, deported. Oh yeah, and I did confirm, got pretty much scammed. Um, you're definitely not supposed to hit those currency exchanges. They always give you a bad rate. Apparently the move is to do it before you leave. Like I was supposed to hit Wells Fargo, hit my bank and be like, yo, I need some pounds. And they would have given you the proper rate. Um, but I don't think I lose that much. I think I can just exchange it back when I'm at the airport, but I need my receipts. So look at this monopoly ass money, bro. There's like, a, there's the queen on it. What do we got? There's like, there's a little see-through action on it. It's crazy, man. They're all different sizes too. Like the five note is shorter than the 10 note. It's like smaller in every single way. That's like kind of cool. I mean, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. He's all mad and shit. Chill, bro. You won World War II. That's a vibe. Yeah, man. This place has got a lot of history. I mean, England's got a lot more history. Like the UK's got a lot more history than America, you know? America goes back a few hundred years. This place goes back like thousands of years, bro. I just, I'm down this hit a fucking museum. I have no idea what the play is. I am here for five, six days, and I'm really only here for one day. Saturday is a super dope event. 
going to be, I think, an all-day kind of thing. But other than that, I have really nothing to do. I have no idea what this vlog is going to entail. Just smoking in the UK, bro. It's going to be super dope. Obviously, we got Drew with Sharon right here. Got to uh, meet up with Miss Loud Queen later. Um, and I think at this event, there's going to be a lot more overseas influencers and stuff, which is super cool, man. I've only... You know, I've never even traveled overseas. I've never met people that are doing this thing across the pond, which is so dope. This brings people together. I love it. Look at the look at the ring going. Okay, Drew. Okay, we got the bud here. Resin ring, little white ash. She might be smoked. Oh yes. There you are, sir. Let's go. The place. The place. I'll take a. What's this one? It's the SFV? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Oh, that's crazy. She's smoking. <laughs> we have arrived, baby. Look at the Stone Island store. This is the most British thing I've ever seen. Look at that taxi, bro. Wait. That's fucking awesome, bro. Look at the vibes out here. We'll say for sure the architecture shits on America. Like, I bet you these buildings are hundreds of years old. They look dope as hell. I like how active it is as well. There's so many people walking. And it's like 11 o'clock on a Thursday. And there's so many people out. This is awesome, bro. I fuck with this place. What? This is nuts. This is nuts. Damn. My first British World Doinks. I couldn't think of a better place to smoke it besides the fucking British Museum. It's crazy. This shit is so epic, bro. What in the world? Dudes were mummifying everything, bro. They mummified some bulls. This is crazy, dude. Bro, I'm so mind blown. The cats. Marcus Aurelius, little statue from 170. That's so fire. Look at this. Money from the 1800s, bro. This is sick. A rare 500 euro note. Look at that. $100 bill. Look at this one though. George Washington bill that says I grew hemp on it. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. That's so lit. Some slight thousand year old coins. Bro. This is awesome. I'm like, if science is my number one, you know, favorite subject back in the day, I think history has to be my second. Like, this is so sick. What is this? Look at all this money, bro. What? This is awesome. Really, I'm in nerd heaven right now. This is awesome. You probably thought math was my number one subject, huh? You little racist. We got even older. 2,000 year old coins. A whole bunch of books, bro. This place is nutty. What in the world? Damn. Enjoy it, huh? Thank you. Got some food. Watching the boys play. Let's go. Day two here, London. Look at the background, bro. The most London shit I've ever seen. Look at the sky. What? It's all fucking raining and shit. All the Londoners were like, yeah, yesterday was the best weather day we've had in a while. And I can see it. I guess it's back to the normal programming. Doics, though. I had like a little historic park. Look at this. Getting the full London experience today, bro. Check the little Rolls Royce over there. Okay, I will say the architecture is something to be had. Hundreds of year old buildings and shit. Yes, I do have an umbrella. We're walking to get a jacket right now. This is, uh, I've been here for a couple hours when it's rainy and it's already starting to wear on my mental. Getting a little sad. But look at these little Rolls Royces behind me. Okay, the two tone. That is crazy. Oh, we gotta go over here. This is like a town circle over here. Uh, I'm really upset that I didn't get to bring a pen with me or I didn't sneak one over because now it would be perfect, bro. Um, my homies left to go set up for the event, so I kind of don't have weed for the next few hours. I think we're gonna link up with Miss Loud Queen. I'm gonna tell her to bring some shit because, um, yeah, I might just be sober until tonight, which is like some real crackhead shit to say. Like, Eric, you can't be sober for a few hours? Bro, I'm in a new city, this shit is lit. Like, I wanna be as high as fucking possible. Look at this shit, bro. 
the bus? Come on, it's the most London shit I've ever seen. I can definitely see where New York gets their inspiration from, bro. I imagine that George Washington and shit, you know, beat the Brits in 76 and they were like, they got a pretty cool city layout though, because this is very New York. It's very lit. They even got hot dog stands on the corner and shit. This is crazy. Look at that fucking thing, bro. Look, there's a StockX store, dude. This is crazy. I've never seen that. I did a little shopping by myself, this little jacket. It was only like 20 pounds, bro, which is like 25 bucks. I'll take that. Um, so yeah, a little shopping right now, I think. I mean, I'm not that hungry. I think I'm gonna just do the very British thing and just get a fucking beer. Like, I'm not sure if I've ever seen a population day drink as much as these motherfuckers, bro. Cause they are, like every single bar is popping right now. It's like, it's midday, it's 12 o'clock. Just like yesterday, but it's Friday today. I heard Fridays are kind of like um, Saturdays here. That's what they said, so. Finding a brew spot, getting down, and then getting lunch with Miss Loud Queen. I don't know why I'm showing you this, this is my room key. I think I found it. This might be the most pub looking pub of all time. It's also been here since 1791, it says. And then look at this, right next to a place called the Queen's Head. Might just pub hop, not bar hop, pub hop. Oh look, some dogs. I will say, there's not as many dogs out here. California, everyone's got a dog. Like you walk around, everyone's got one on a leash in the restaurants. Um, not quite here. Thank you sir, appreciate you. I have absolutely no clue why I got a Guinness. I fucking hate Guinness. But every single other person in this bar is drinking it. If it's a British thing, I'ma do it. Cheers. This place is popping, bro. Posted up at bar number two. Honestly, I didn't even finish that other Guinness. It was so disgusting. But uh, I ordered a shot, and they don't do shots there. And the guy was like, yeah, we're the only pub that doesn't, which is weird. So, you know, we had to turn up. I heard they don't like the Irish here. There's like some beef there. So we got an Irish car bomb, baby. Um, this is gonna be fucked up. All right, you're supposed to like drop it, but it's really messy, so cheers. Gross. But a lot better than a Guinness by itself, I swear. We have made it to Piccadilly Square, baby. AKA one of the worst Call of Duty maps in history. Top five worst COD maps in history. Like this shit was awful back then. I think it came out in Ghost. I don't even remember. But um, it looks exactly like the real place, bro. Shit is crazy. I'm feeling that car bomb. I'm feeling crazy. Next bar, different baby. We got the Jack and Coke. Um, he asked me if I wanted to double, and I was like, bet. And it was like one more pound regular. This was this was nine pounds, which is like eleven dollars, twelve dollars maybe, which actually sounds about right for a drink. I thought I was getting a good steal. All right, never mind. That's like pretty regular. But honestly, LA, this would be like fifteen, eighteen, twenty bucks. Kind of chilling. I'm getting drunk though for sure. I think I've wandered into a more residential part of okay. London. Um, they still got pubs, and you can still drink outside though, which is how it should be, man. I want some sunlight. Actually, they don't have sunlight here. I want something in my face. Wind? I don't know. Hell yeah. One of the things people told me to do was to ride the tube. The tube, as they call it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Look, five guys. That's American right there. Um, yeah, apparently you just tap a card, get on it real quick. I'm like, oh, okay, we got a little, a little train station right here. A little Vibington. If I wanted to go to Bond Street, how would I get there from yeah, here? Yeah, just one stop, uh, platform number seven, my friend. Number seven. Okay, thank you, sir. What? That is super chill. And there it is. I think that was total like a pound, maybe two pounds or something like that. Maybe even less than that. That was chill. First impressions, uh, I've never ridden the one in LA because it's way too fucking sketchy and dirty and dangerous. And the same thing with New York. So the fact that I was like, it was a vibe, it was a vibe. I see you London, the tube here on Regent Street which I think is a poppin' place in London. I don't know. It feels like every street I turn on just feels like a legendary street. You know what I mean? Like it feels like there's so many people. It's gotta be a poppin' street. But I think this is just like any other street out there. It's just like fucking, just looks cool. You know, look at this shit. Look at this shit, dude. What? Look at the taxis. <laughs> also, something very strange about walking these crowded ass streets. Brits, you don't make any sense, bro. Cause you drive on the left side 
but people don't know whether to walk on the left side or like walk on the right side you know what I mean but naturally it should be on the right like if you're facing someone both of you naturally are gonna step to the right which is how it should be why do you drive on the left side over here bro parking's harder picking up's harder ubers are all, like the but it doesn't make any sense bro it, left side doesn't make any sense that's the one thing America for sure got right and Fahrenheit Celsius makes no sense I've wandered into a little I don't even know what you call this I see a lot of these though the UK has a lot of like little alleyways and you walk in it and it's like a grand little food market drink kind of little places sick there's also an insane amount of diverse food here bro and then I've never seen I don't know if Michelin started here in the UK or something actually I should probably know that but if you look at the Michelin list there is like a bajillion restaurants it's way more dense than any other place that I've ever seen I've ever been to especially in the States um, yeah there's apparently a lot of fucking good food here bro look at that getting fucked up cheers We're doing another one, boys. A bomb, and she's making me some crazy stuff. Cheers. <laughs> that is crazy. Thank you. I've attached my mic because it's got a little loud. I don't know if you can hear me right now, but um, it's fucking shot time, baby. It's shot o'clock. We'll start with the bomb, I guess. Cheers. Oh, tequila and champagne. That's fucked. Now we're doing this one, Tabasco. <laughs> Recording. All right, my bad. Jeez, I'm fucked. What the hell is this place, bro? I gotta walk in here. <laughs> what? Hello there. Hello. Flipping over? Yes. Yeah, so you wanna flip over? Oh. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> First try. First try. You have the avocado bubble bath. <laughs> nice. This one you crumble under the running water and it creates bubbles. So you cool. can either use it all in one go or you could get multiple baths out of it. Okay. Awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, and if you want to have a go at the Hoovers, we have um, different prizes available. So these are just stand ins, they're not the prizes. <laughs> this is a potential prize. Oh. Ah, oh, I got the onion off. Oh. No! Oh, so, so close, close, so close. <laughs> Go ahead, put it in there. Is it a small English dab, huh? That's a big one. What yeah. are we smoking on, Sophia? Cheese? We are smoking on some Dirty Taxi by Taste Buds. Whoa, we're close. The cheese is next, wow. though. Cheese is next. We're in the smell. park, smug. I do want to smell, actually. Thanks. Smell it. Bro. 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 I can't believe I'm in fucking London. The lid fell on the floor. Welcome to London. Thanks, thanks. A dry dab as well, you're insane. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it. You're insane. There is a, a girl staring, she wants a dab, I can tell. You see her? She just keeps staring. <laughs> she says she smells it. You want a dab? I can smell it. She can dab? smell it. <laughs> <laughs> she can smell the hash from over there, that's big time. That's big time, Soph. You're out oh, here. What? Yes, dude, you got rosin over here. I'm so pumped. Rosin I was sober rosin. all day today. What? You're right. We got nothing out here. We just got some. <laughs> no, I think it I love. I love that. <laughs> oh, what? I got. We're gonna do some burrow fucking British shit. Am I dabbing shit, Eric out? Yeah, yeah. Ah, you that. should. What? You should. That'd be lit. I'm down to go live. Um, I'm gonna go do some British shit today, bro. I'm gonna see the bridge. I'm gonna see it fall down. I wanna see You're the king. See it. What? You're fall down. See it fall down. I want to see the London see Eye. I want to see the fucking. Is it like the London Eye? Yeah. The London Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she has two of them. She has two London Eyes. And then what else is over there? The Palace. The Buckingham Palace. Buckingham. I don't even know who that is, what that is, but I heard it's cool. Yeah, it's the it's the palace. The it's one the palace. palace. The it's palace, the dude. Palace. Yeah. You may notice there's three shots. We just met a friend. That last. It's time. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's your vlog. Vlog? <laughs> what in the world are you just saying? I'm gonna take a selfie on the phone. Taking fucking puff coat dabs on where are we? Canary? Canarby? Canarby. Look, it says it there. Oh my god, it Con does say it right there. Carnaby. <coughs> Carnaby Street. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 what a shame. Yeah. Hey, London's pretty lit. I can't lie. London's pretty lit. Whoa. 
chill, bro. It's, it's a, a cool. Moon. You don't want to smoke here? Oh, it's a full moon, dude. We have to smoke here. Yeah, it's not a full moon yet. It's close though. What Ooh, the fuck is that? Imperial College. That's a that's a almost moon. No, look. Do you see this? What is that? I don't see that in person. What? Why is that only on your camera? What the hell? That's insane. Erica convinced me to go in the cemetery. Yeah, I didn't convince <laughs> nothing. She just pulled up. Let's smoke a dab. Let's I'm smoke a dab. It's dab time. It's dab time. Let's go. Have you ever seen one of those before? A train? I've never seen a train. What is that? <laughs> Let's do it. I uh, just pulled up on the Turp Hogs event. I'll put my mic on. I don't know if you can hear me. I got you. It's good vibes going on. I don't even know. I don't even know what part of London we're in, but people are here smoking, chilling. We got some, uh, I don't know, top level shit going on. I don't fucking know, bro. I'm so fucked up. I've been drinking all fucking day. What's happening? Homie just rolled me a fucking doinker, bro. Doinker. I appreciate you, brother. Smoke that. We're chilling at a little uh, Turp Hogs event. Apparently it's a steakhouse. They rented this bitch out. I was like, wait, is this a normal like smoking lounge area? And they're like, nah. Renting it out. People just smoking. Getting gassed up, baby. Super gassed. I was just up there, but it's way too fucking hot. Fuck that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go. Bro, that's what I'm Appreciate you guys, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Listen, bro. I don't know what kind of alcohol they put over here in Europe. I'm fucked up. Like, I took a gram dab earlier. I'm, like, almost blackout. It's so lit, though. And I'm about to take a dab at Piatella. What the? Oh, fuck, it's in. Fuck. Bang, I literally bought for the event tomorrow. Payatella? Yeah. This is that Payatella. Yeah, that girl on there. One step. Oh, my. Let's go. Oh, my. Yeah, ah, I forgot to record a lot. We went to some bars, got drunk. We just smoked at the London Eye. I can't believe I forgot. Bagel? What the okay, hell? I just paid bro. <laughs> I just paid are you excited? It's fucking. I, I am excited. It's fucking 5 a.m. I just got a bagel, bro. I feel like I really am in New York. It's only 420. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Miss Sig Queen? You like Miss Sig Queen? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. All right, you're right. All right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Wait. Thank you. Oh, what the actual hell? Nah, bro. This is... <laughs> it's fucking like 6 a.m., bro. Look at the sun. Oh, hell no. I got to get to sleep, bro. We got an event tomorrow in like a few hours. Look. I got food. I didn't even know food was a thing out here late night. My brain is mush right now, dude. Help! We in Soho, baby. It's officially the weekend. Look at this. It's 
feeling like the weekend. We got the event today, which is the whole reason I'm here in London. Big meet and greet, big event type shit, like Cali type shit, America type event, but it's gonna be out here. Gonna grab some grub first. The venue is like an hour, hour and a half away from where I'm at. So, um, dude, it's so lively right now. This is awesome. Uh, yeah, trying to find some food. So many shops around. Uh, Timberland, Levi's, North Bay's, Puma. We're at Canar Canarby? Canar Canarby Street. I think I was here yesterday. I was so fucked up though. Woo! Damn, bro. We might have just found the spot. Check the vibes out in this place. It's packed. The streets are saying this place is incredibly spicy, so we're gonna have to. Wow. Look at this place, man. Uh, if it was really London y before in the city, it's really London y now. But I feel like, I mean, we're obviously outside of the city. I feel like this is a World War II shit or something, bro. Like, I've played this map in Call of Duty before. You know what I mean? Same thing with Piccadilly. But uh, it's cold as fuck. I'm not gonna lie, it's not raining, but holy shit, bro. It is like, like 30 degrees. It's windy as shit. Oh, I just wanna get in there, smoke some bud, smoke a little bit of hash. Woo. Once again, shout out to Super Dope for having me. You see the tea, baby. I think they're gonna be selling more. Hey. How are y'all? Yes, sir. Oh. Can I Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh What's God. up, man? What's up? What's your name, bro? Hi, Sean Oak. Sean Oak. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Jamie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys, man. What's your name, brother? Nice to meet you guys, man. I've been watching you for years. Hell yeah, I appreciate that, boys. What time is it? 420? Is that what it says? Nearly. Oh, oh 420. Let's go. <laughs> All right, London. All right, UK. Oh, yeah. We're working. Damn, brother, thank you. We're church out, baby. We just finished rolling up. We got a couple doing skis for the next 30 minutes or so. And then these guys told me they're about to give me a fucking fat ass double dab of Piatella and hash rods. Look at this. Look at this. Damn, the double. Check the lighter, bro. What? Let's go. Yup, just called me over. I think it's time. I think it's about time. Jeez, y'all aren't playing around. Oh my god. It's time, baby. Everyone just inhale all this extra. Finish that bill. Do me a favor. Someone hit this. Someone like this. Someone like this. Is it dry? Is it dry, Rick? Clear that shit. Yeah, there's definitely water in there. <coughs> I said, let's go. Finish your bill. Finish that bill. Yeah. How about you? There's still so much in there. You want to keep going? <laughs> Type shit. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, you, brother. Yeah, good nah. to finally meet you, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Good yeah. to finally meet y'all, dude. Yeah. I think you could definitely do the free grabs today. You're clearing these easily. Finally sitting down after like smoking, standing, walking around for like three, four hours straight. But we got the motherfucking hash rosin cart handed to us. I wish I brought the cart from the beginning, but now Europe really turns up, baby. Let's get it. Also, I just got hooked up with some crazy food. I'm super pumped, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, some chicken, rice. I don't even know what this is, but it's filled with veggies. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that. 
That's the end of the event. Hey, did you have a good time? I had a pretty fabulous time. Wow, that's amazing. Check out the little shit. I had a great time. I had a fantastic time. The UK smokes. All right, you guys got me. Y'all fucking show out and smoke. Not only like London, but like people tuned in from like all over. People drove hours and hours. It was dope as fuck. Guys. I feel like I'm in Texas again. I'm really sorry, I just turned off the fire. No, you're good. It looked good. Really I, I saw it oh, turn you... off. I saw it turn oh, okay, off. Okay, yeah. okay. That's I, nice. I was like, shit, I turned it off. <laughs> sorry, I'm Oh, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. This is like I'm Texas. The ski, yeah. This is like what we smoke at in Texas, you know? And like little sheds in the backyard because no, it's, it's illegal. Nice little soup has been acquired, man. That's exactly what I need, bro. London gets cold as hell. Shout out to anyone that I met today at the Super Dope event. Shout out to Super Dope for having me. Super incredible time. Uh, I guess the work is kind of done, kind of. I'm going to record some more tomorrow. We got content to record, but tomorrow it's just going to be some touristy shit, I think. But um, yeah, I'm super hyped that London has like late night food that's like actually pretty fucking solid like this place is open till 3 or 4 place across the street is open till 5 a.m. crazy look at the vibes they're cooking they're cooking bro we got the Chinese place alright yeah alright um, I'll see you guys tomorrow